Hello YouTube, it is Back in Gaming here with another gaming news video, and today's video is going to be all about E3 and the games that I liked the best um, at E3. And we got some Diablo 3 gameplay going on right now, in case you're wondering. So the first game I'm going to talk um, talk about is Watch Dogs, and that game was probably the biggest surprise at E3. It was a total secret until the actual announcement, which happened at Ubisoft's press conference, which was the day before the actual E3 event. And this game is set kind of in the future, but we don't know too much about it. And basically, it's about what happens when a hacker gets inside a computer that controls an entire city. So basically, they have control of other people's phones, um, traffic lights, surveillance, cameras, just all types of personal information, and you're playing as that hacker. And it's an open world feel, like open world game, so the best way to kind of describe it is it's going to be like Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, um, Red Dead Redemption, so like an open world feeling like that, but in a modern day city with a hacker. So definitely a game to look out for. Um, second game I'm going to want to talk about is Far Cry 3. And um, they had a lot of stuff announced um, about Far Cry 3 before E3, but the big announcement that happened at E3 was there was going to be a four-person co-op mode on with the game, um, and it's going to be six hours in length, which is an insanely long amount of time for a co-op, uh, for a, any type of co-op. And then Borderlands 2 is another game that looked great. Um, not too much to say about that other than the fact that it had a ton of new weapons, um, more players, and the co-op looked crazy good. And so now moving on to Microsoft um, and their press conference, they didn't have too much new things going on for them. Uh, a lot of people were really expecting a new console, but they've already, they like a month ago they tweeted, oh, no new console is going to be announced, but they just stuck to games and they had a ton on new services they were going to offer. And they basically talked a ton about new streaming services and just opening the doors to all types of media with the Xbox. They're basically like straying away from gaming um, and opening up a just trying to extend the life of their X of the Xbox 360 by releasing a ton of new features for it. But the main, uh, the big two games that were uh, announced at E3 at the Microsoft pre press conference was Halo 4 and Splinter Cell Blacklist, and both of these games looked really good. Halo 4 was basically Halo 3 with better graphics, um, better AI, better movement, just a better game. We'll have to see what the storyline's like, um, and then. Splinter Cell Blacklist looked like a really fun game too. It's super fluid and really good graphics. So those two will be on the definitely look out for. And Gears of War Judgment is was another game from the Gears of War series that was announced at um, the Microsoft press conference. So that's another one to be looking out for. And now on to Sony. The, there's two main games that really um, took my interest at E3 and those were Beyond Two Souls which is a game made by the creators of Heavy Rain and then um, the second game was The Last of Us and so Heavy or Beyond Two Souls made by the creators of Heavy Rain is basically a cinematic game more like movie style there is going to be gameplay in it but it's t a totally different style of gaming and so I'm really excited for that one to come out definitely getting that game and The Last of Us just looks like a really fun. It's a PS3 exclusive, so if you have an, if you're an Xbox gamer, sorry, but you can't get this game. But that's just another reason to get a PlayStation 3 because this game really looks amazing. And now moving on to Nintendo games that were announced at E3. So they basically had a couple of games. I'm not a big motion um, fan, but I'm still going to cover it for because I know a lot of people uh, really enjoy motion. So the big games um, announced by Nintendo or Pikmin 3 which looks like a fun uh, pretty entertaining game um, a new Super Mario Smash, Smash Bros for the nin for the Wii U and who doesn't like Smash Super Mario's and then Zombie U which looked like it had crazy really good graphics for a Nintendo console so definitely I'm gonna be looking into that game I don't own a Nintendo Wii but um, I think other people should check those games out if they're planning on getting the Wii U. 
Now I'm just going to be talking about two games. Um, I'm going to be featuring these two games. The first of those two games is Star Wars 1313 or Star Wars 1313. And so uh, this game was uh, released or announced at E3. And it's uh, probably going to be on the next generation consoles because um, as more information was learned about it over the course of E3. We learned that it was running on the modified version of the Unreal 3 engine, which looks crazy. It's insanely good graphics. I'll post a link in the description. You have to check it out. It's, it'll blow your mind. It'll, things just look real. It's really, it's crazy good graphics. But anyways, um, it's going to be taking place during the original trilogy of Star Wars. So the first three uh, movies that came out for Star Wars is around the time that this movie is going to be taking place. It's a totally different look on Star Wars because there's going to be no Jedi that you can play. And so I think that's going to be really different for a lot of Star Wars fans and Star Wars video game fans. And so basically you're going to be playing a bounty hunter. So you're going to be using flamethrowers, jetpacks, grappling hooks, all that type of stuff that the bounty hunters use. So it's a totally different style of Star Wars gameplay put into this the old Star Wars era. So it's going to make make a great mix with these great visuals and great graphics. So this game's something to look out for, but I don't think it's going to be released for a couple of years or until the next generation consoles come out because of the insanely good graphics. So we're probably going to have to wait a while for these graphics to come out. And the second game is Beyond Two Souls. And this game just looked amazing. The cinematics, the trailer, we did not get to see any gameplay, so it's super mysterious. We do know the girl named Jodie Holmes is going to be played by Ellen Page, who is a real actress, who is about 15 years old. And that's about all the time I have for you. Check out BackInGaming.com. Thank you. Please subscribe. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last... His grand design comes to fruition. <laughs> Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel. I live, but I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now, at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me, the utter destruction of the High Heavens.